Uh, Thea, it's nice to talk to you for the first time. Welcome to the studio, and uh, it's a pleasure to have you. So you had a really great day, uh, two and a half yeah. out of three. Uh, tell us about your thoughts in general just on the day. Uh, during the day? Uh, I think it was better than yesterday, because yesterday I made the half out of three, so uh, <laughs> uh, I was happy about this day. I made two and a half out of three. Uh, even if I was a bit lucky in, in, in the last game, because I was uh, losing, I think, uh, I mean, uh, I think it was not really losing, but uh, I had a uh, bad position, but I managed to defend at the end. So you have really come of age in an era in chess where Rapid and Blitz is really becoming yeah. more prominent on the world stage. And that's what this tournament is all about. Do you prefer playing on a big stage uh, like this? Do you prefer classical or do you prefer quick chess? Uh, okay, in general, I prefer a classical game. Uh, yeah, the, I think the reason is that uh, I don't play uh, too much uh, rapid and blitz uh, tournaments. Maybe that's the real reason that uh, my rating is uh, low on these two, two games. Well, we were yeah, we were talking about the the ratings and how they might be misrepresentative. Uh, can I jump point. in and ask a couple questions? Yeah, go right ahead, Robert Hungaski. Hi, Fee. This is uh, Grandmaster Robert Hungaski. We were following your your game along, and um, I was wondering where did you feel like your position got uh, a little bit out of hand because it seemed like you traded off White's dark square bishop, which is generally a good thing in this line, but um, but then maybe your your e6 pawn was a little bit weak, so whenever white plays c4, it looks like you might have some trouble defending e6. Uh, which game do you mean? Um, round number nine. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, the, the round, the game you just played right now. Yeah, I think it was uh, completely equal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah but you said you yeah, said you felt like uh, you you might be losing at some point. Um, maybe at the beginning or uh, in the middle game. Maybe I was, uh, yeah, I, I didn't like my position uh, in the middle game, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, at the end I managed to defend, maybe I, I even managed to have some uh, counterplay, mm -hmm. so. Okay, yeah, I mean, it was definitely an unpleasant position uh, yeah. in the middle game, but uh, you held well, and I also wanted to congratulate you on your nice tactical win. Uh, oh, yeah. A round ago, you had that double bishop sacrifice, a nice tactical theme. You don't really see it that often, but a great combination. Yeah. So congratulations, and also congratulations on a very good day, because you are making a good comeback from you know yeah. half out of three yesterday, two and a half out of three today. So um, good luck in the blitz portion. Thank you. And Ifi, before we let you go, we've been chatting about it, you know, the, the main players in this tournament. We've got to know how to say their names correctly. So how do you say your last name? My last name is uh, Rakuto Maru. It's, uh, yeah, it's a long one. <laughs> All right, we'll get it. We, we'll, we'll, learn to, we'll learn to say it, we'll learn to love it. But uh, Fee, also, how do you prepare, if you're preparing at all, for the Blitz games ahead in the next two days? Uh, for the next two days, uh, I think my preparation was uh, already before the, the event, but uh, okay, I uh, tried to uh, analyze my uh, all my games, all my rapid games, and uh, yeah, I think that's my preparation during this tournament. Yeah, just analyzing my uh, my last games, and uh, then maybe I will play the same or have a change. I don't know yet. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, yeah. Fee, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll let you go and get some rest for tomorrow, the Blitz Day, or number number one. Thanks. All right. Have a good night. Yeah. All right. Yeah.